I wasn't looking forward to their speeches either, so it's good. <laughs> um, well, I, I'm, I just share my colleagues' excitement about today. It's, it's uh, such a thrill to be here. Uh, mechanical engineering is my own degree, so I have a degree in mechanical engineering. In fact, uh, I, am the, I will be the sixth uh, chairman and CEO of Cummins, but the first engineering uh, person to be the cha chairman and CEO of Cummins. So, uh, when we started the mechanical engineering de degree program a few years ago, we have all been waiting for the day when the first graduates would come out. And so this day has special meaning for Cummins. We've been associated, many of us, with this Cummins College for, for many years. And like John, I've been coming many years and seeing the development, and, and I'm, I'm so proud to be associated with it. But this is a big deal, because this, this degree, we started up from scratch. We were all here when it started. We were part of making it start. And now, to see the first graduates, it just feels like it's you know come together. And it's just such an exciting day. And we add to that the fact that the last time I visited, I was uh, so impressed with where the school had come and, and so impressed with the students, but I noticed that we weren't hiring very many of them at CIL. It, we had a few, but not that many. And I thought, well, well that seems strange. Why, why are we not hiring them? And one of the reasons we, I was told was there are not very many mechanical engineers. But I was also concerned that maybe we were not using this fantastic asset that we created where there was all these fantastic women graduating we said we wanted technical people, and we said we wanted women, and yet we weren't going and looking, really, at, in our own backyard. And the ad addition of this mechanical engineering degree, even before it's finished, has already encouraged Cummins to come look and check, and now we are hiring many more. And, and my understanding from Anant is that we made 42 offers this last uh, year for graduates from the Cummins College of Engineering for Women. And to me, that is a really proud day. And I think fully, fully a third of the graduates in mechanical engineering degree will get an offer from Cummins. Uh, in fact, more than a third. And that, that again, it's just it's, that's exactly what we should be doing. That, I think that tells you how strongly we feel about the, the capabilities of the students of this college. So that's fantastic. I also want to say, um, as the uh, the proud father of two daughters myself, that. I'm not, not only do I think this college is fantastic for Cummins, that I think it's, it's a proud part of what we do is, is helping uh, Maharashtra and helping uh, women in India through our participation in the Cummins College. But I feel that women everywhere need to have the same opportunities, and I want my own daughter to have those opportunities. And I just feel like this is a chance for us to make a difference every day in people's lives and it's, we, we try to make a difference at our, at our company every day also, but this is a big statement of our values as a company, and it helps us feel like we're making a difference. And uh, th to be part of that and to see all these faces, it, it, it's a great day. And um, so I know you, you think that uh, we may be big, powerful people in suits and ties and even in uh, nice interests, but in fact, uh, in fact, you're the ones with the power because you're able to hear, make a grown man cry uh, and make, make us feel uh, very, very excited and proud in this day. So thank you very much for all you've done to make us feel good. Now, one of the things I thought I'd just say a word or two is, you know, why is this so important to Cummins? Well, well, Cummins has not only a rich history of engineering and making uh, excellent products, but we also have a, have a history of trying to make a difference in our communities. So our participation with the Cummins College and with MKSSS goes back to the idea that we felt that one of the ways we could make a difference in India was begin to, beginning to empower women. And the Cummins College was really a match with our interest and values in empowering women and MKSSS's same or similar um, uh, concepts. And really they were the inspiration for this idea of the Cummins College. We just felt like it fit our values too and helped along the way here and there. Really, it was their inspiration uh, and drive that got the university going. And, and why do we think it's so important? Well, what we know is that when women are successful, families are successful. 
And there's lots of research about this, even in the US, where the, the one statistic that people understand, the one driver of success of children, is the education of the woman of the family. So the more educated and empowered the woman is, the better the children do. So we, we see education and empowerment of women as not just an issue of getting more college graduates that we can hire, but as a way of strengthening the state of Maharashtra and the whole country of India right at its roots, in the family, in the workplace, in the government, all the way through society. So for us, you graduating from this college is good for Cummins, because we're going to hire you. It's good for the state. It's good for you and your families. And it's great for India. So congratulations on that front, too. That this is risk for, for people that are running this institution. Already, we've achieved a lot. But to say, well, it's not good enough for us. We're going to try to be the best in India. This is now putting your own reputation, your own uh, efforts up to scrutiny. And I can't tell you how impressed I am that you're willing to do it. And I'm very proud of you for, for doing it. So thank you very much. Excellent. And my last closing words for you uh, that are graduating is that remember that the, the reputation of this college and this institution will be largely determined by what you do, actually. So all the improvements the faculty will make and things, that will help the next group. But the way that this institution will be proven to be great is by what you accomplish and by the things that you do when you're out there. So I would just say to you, the burden you carry is to make your institution, your university, proud by accomplishing a lot. Achieve a lot. Strive, as, as, Anand, as Anand said. Be a continual learner. Accomplish a lot in whatever field you are. I, and I started in engineering, and then I've been working in business. Um, you can start in engineering and become a, an actress or a proprietor or a, whatever you want to do, or a great uh, engineer. That's all fine. You can do whatever you want. But just accomplish a lot. Be excellent in whatever you do, because that's what will build the reputation of this institution. And, and, and make sure you live a full and great life, because that's what this is all about, really. I mean, the reason we wanted to empower women is, women is so that you would live a full and great life. An ethical life, a life that empowers your own family members, so you give your children the same benefit that you got. They get good education. They're empowered to do what they want to do. That's what living a full life is about in a, in a proper life. And what I'd encourage you to do is take on that burden to live that full life and accomplish a lot. You'll make us all proud, as you already have done. Thank you very much.